Irish last kicker. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Dublin, Ireland, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Becky Lynn. One of the trailblazers in the women's evolution, part of the four horsewomen. A young lady who has prided herself on being different. A young lady who has prided herself on thinking outside the box. And she has taken that mentality to tremendous success here in WWE. Becky Lynch should be prosecuted for improper use of the metal horns out here dressed like something out of an H.G. Wells novel. Pay-per-view just got iconic! And her partners, Peyton Royce, and Billy Kay, the Iconics. As Peyton Royce makes her way to the ring, I should note that before heading to the WWE Performance Center, Peyton actually received training from Lance Storm. So we can blame Lance Storm. Is that what you're saying? Here comes the Queen! And their opponent. First, from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. Back at NXT, Charlotte was part of a group called the Four Horsewomen with Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Becky Lynch. Wow, has Charlotte evolved from those times? First ever women's Hell in a Cell match against Sasha Banks. An amazing Iron Man match as well. Charlotte has accomplished it all in such a short period of time. And you can see the respect from the WWE Universe for Charlotte. Behold the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka! And from Osaka, Japan, She is hypnotic, she is mesmerizing, she is as dangerous as the day is long. Now you are looking at a woman who single-handedly managed to change the entire complexion of the Raw Women's Division. A great champion at NXT, a sole survivor at Survivor Series. The winner of the first ever Women's Royal Rumble match. What a start to her career for Asuka.
Hey, Michael, Corey. What? It's glow time! And their I'm surprised partner, you enjoy this this much, Saxon, seeing as how you're afraid of the dark. Naomi! Glow's like having a nightlight, so it's okay. Who once beat Naomi in a dance contest? Oh, no. Don't say it. I really did. Did you pull a muscle? She's got nothing on me. One of the most athletic superstars in the history of WWE. A former pro basketball cheerleader, professional dancer. Naomi can do it all from bell to bell. And one of the most fun and exciting entrances in all of WWE. Never shies away from competition, always seizing the opportunity to get better. That's what feeling the glow is all about. Dating back to their days in NXT, Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair have been best friends. They were part of the Four Horsewomen and Team PCB, but the two haven't always been sisters like they want you to believe. And, ugh, I wish an immediate end to their little tea time. It's absolutely absurd. No, it's cute. Looking at the six competitors we have in the ring tonight, I think it's safe wow. to say that we're entering dream match territory right now. Recalling your point about Becky Lynch's friendship with Charlotte Flair, Corey, Charlotte has been a major part of many important moments in Becky's career. You can't deny the bond between the two horsewomen. True, Michael, but not all moments were heartwarming. Remember when Charlotte brutally betrayed Becky in 2016? Charlotte's competitive nature always seems to supersede their friendship. Becky Lynch with the offense. Oh, and she gets her with the elbow. I can't tell you how many victims have suffered the same fate in a savage clothesline. Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations could be added like no disqualification, two out of three falls, elimination, falls count anywhere, or whatever else someone can think of. Matches can also be held in a caged environment. Great offense by Charlotte. Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction, where three superstars have aligned things of a common interest. The most crucial aspect to a six-man tag team being successful is that trio's ability to act as one cohesive unit, three individuals working collectively at all times. So much can take place during a six-man tag match. Regardless of what type of match the teams of three are competing in, the members of that team must be on the same page. Oftentimes, the teams who have the best continuity are the most successful. Ah, oh, that one hurt. Oh, and a slam! You know, guys, it's pretty amazing that in just a few short years, Charlotte has earned the moniker The Queen by ruling over every WWE show. A well-placed kick. Whoa, impressive! You could say that again. I never thought she'd break free from that one. Nice job by Oscar. Byron, you mentioned Charlotte becoming the queen, and it shows with her regal entrance, high-priced robes, and flawless moves. With all the groundbreaking matches Charlotte's competed in, I'd love to see a queen of the ring tournament make that title official. Nicely timed by Oscar. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. With a bone hip attack. This could be it for her. And it's Asuka making a move. Oh, now it's locked in good. Incredible. Man, I wonder if Peyton Royce can survive this. Well, Peyton Royce's career is just getting started, guys. I'd say she has already accomplished a great deal, including being named the 2016 NXT. What a six-man tag match. That match is worth another look. Here we go. 
When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. Too many people that wouldn't have tapped out to that. You know, nothing made me happier than when I'd lock in Lucky 13 and make my opponents tap out. And folks, if you just joining us, I'm sorry to tell you that you just missed one of the most exciting SmackDown matches in recent memory.